Hey everybody, it looks into swirl here. We are going to do another pick paint pour, which means we need to start by picking paint. My, my theory here is that if we pick out enough reds and browns, eventually we will pick out colors that I actually like working with. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep at it until that happens. Uh, I, I'm not gonna explain the whole thing. If you want to find out more, I will link to a previous pick a paint video below that will go into more detail. I'm going to go crazy today and start with the light bag. I'm looking away. I know you have to trust me on that, but I am. First color, cold gray. All right. Second is, hey, pearl turquoise. All right. Third light color is light apricot. And the fourth light color is orange yellow all right so those are our lights and here go our darks looking away oh golly rose rose is good next dark color is olive green Ooh, all right. next dark color is Oh God, burnt umber again, holy smoke. Uh, okay, last dark color is deep green. I'm curious, what's deep green look like? Boy, that's dark all right. Okay, all right, it's all cool. All right, so I'm gonna mix these up. We are going to do another, um, kind of like this, pour through a fruit container. It will have had strawberries in it this time instead of uh, great, uh, cherry tomatoes like this one did. So we'll get a different pattern and we are going to mix these paints two parts flow troll to one part paint. I may even add a little water. I want it to be more flowy, which is a technical term, flowy. See you back here in a minute. Hey Betty, looks in a squirrel. <laughs> Looks into Squirrel, that's me. <clears throat> hey everybody, Looks into Squirrel here. We are ready to follow up on our pick a paint pour. Now you just watched the beginning of this. For me, it was yesterday. <laughs> so I'm not gonna run through everything again. You can see the colors here. I will try and mention the names as I start pouring them. Uh, here is the container we're gonna use today. This is a strawberry container uh, that has been cleaned out but it has lots of holes in the bottom. And it also happens to be a rectangular shape like our uh, canvas, which is, this is a 14 by 18 canvas. Oh, before I start pouring, I wanted to tighten this up because it's a bigger canvas. So it might sag a little in the middle. And all I do here is spritz. This is a, little bottle I got at the uh, travel sample size section in Walmart and it's got a little bit of water in it. I just spritz it on the back and then take my hand and kind of spread it out. And as it, as it dries, it will tighten the canvas up. In fact, when we turn it over, you can sort of see, I got that back on there right. You can sort of see it start to pucker in the corners and that, that's, you can, nice and tight. Okay, so well, that's what we're gonna pour into. These are our eight colors that we picked from the bags of our Tezza two paints. So let's just get going. I am thinking about using the Burnt Umber Pretty sure it is burnt umber. Yep, burnt umber um, for the corners. So I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna put it aside. We'll use it after we get going here. What that also means, of course, is I probably ought to start by laying it down in the middle, just a little bit as a pillow. All right, we have a 
14 by 18 inch canvas, that means we need uh, approximately 16 inch, 16 ounces of paint to cover everything. And we have about 24 here. Each of these cups has three ounces of paint in it. They're eight cups, 24 ounces. So we should have more than enough. All right, let's start. Turn my other camera on, it's on. Okay, here we go. This is cold gray. This is rose. This is orange yellow. This is olive green. This is light apricot. Really pretty. Very pale peach, <laughs> but it's light apricot. This is this is gorgeous. I think this is a like deep turquoise. What it's actually called is deep green. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Deep green. This is, this is pearl turquoise. So I think this is more of a teal, but potato, potato. Okay, and then we have our ugly burnt umber. So we'll just get back here to the beginning. And now we tilt.
Ooh, look at that. Fix up corners. Ready? Ooh. So cool. Look at that. Love it. All right. This torch. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That is so cool looking. All right, I tell you what, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes, see if anything further develops, because I think it might, and then we will go in for our close-up. All right, still really cool. Let's head in for our close-up. Here we have the lower right-hand corner, across the bottom. So much going on here. I love it. I have to say, I like these colors. <laughs> I'm not always crazy about our pick a paint colors, but these turned out so pretty. Uh, lower left hand corner. Up the left hand side. Upper left corner, and across the top, to the upper right hand corner, and back down the right side. Some of these spots in the middle are just wow, wow. And then we have the entire piece. Let's see if I can get it on here. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.